Hello and welcome to another quick tutorial in From the Depths. Today we're going to show you how to create an engine. Now if you're looking for an advanced engine, this video is not for you. This is just for basics to get you away from using the prefab engine like this one. So this one is producing 138 power and uses a lot of exhausts, which actually don't do much at the moment, so you don't want to be using them. Um, so the first thing you do is place down an engine block. So you go into engines, then engine block, and place that down any direction you want. Now you attach to these engine blocks the crankshaft. You can make this as long as you like, but I'm only going to make it one in length this time. And you attach cylinders to any of these green points where the little arrows pop up there. So you can attach it to the side or on top of the crankshaft. Now to the cylinders you attach carburetors, you can attach as many as you like and again attach them to the green points. This at the moment produces no power. What you want to do to get power is to attach fuel tanks. Now the first thing you do, I do is attach fuel tanks to every single point available on the engine. Now this is just a quick way of gaining power quickly. So this isn't the most effective way and the most, well, the most efficient way of getting the most powerful engine. This is just the quick way of getting a good engine which is better than the prefab. So if you're looking at the power in the bottom right, adding that, and now we've got an engine more powerful than the prefab already and we haven't even added any superchargers yet. Okay, so when we're adding superchargers, you usually want to try and add them in approximate ratio of three fuel tanks to two superchargers. When you hover over a carburetor, you can see the supercharge number connected and the fuel tank number connected. Now you want to try, if you can do, get around about 50-50, but if you've got a spare space available, you want to stick a fuel tank in there. So now I'm just going to continue adding superchargers to the points, well basically just replacing fuel tanks as I go along and if the power goes up I keep the supercharger there, if the power goes down I replace the supercharger with the fuel tank again. So I'm actually just going to go straight through this and quickly just speed up this video and just get these superchargers on there because it's relatively simple. A quick thing to remember is if, if you've got one fuel tank between two carburetors it will actually provide 100% bonus to both carburetors so try to share parts if you can do. And here we are with the final engine approximately 50% um, fuel and 50% Superchargers. I actually think it's got more fuel than superchargers. Actually, it's a lit. It's not 100% optimized, but it is still almost three times as strong as the prefab. Now, I hope this video actually helped you get an idea on how to actually just put an engine together and how to increase the power more than the standard prefabs. If you like the video, please leave a like and please share it with those who th you think will need the help. Bye bye.